Hey, I'm gonna show you a 100% free way to create professional logos for your new business using AI. Recently, a friend of mine asked me to make a logo for his sushi business. I thought to myself, I bet AI could do this for me in seconds. But what I found out was a lot of these free logo makers aren't actually free at all. In fact, a lot of them sneakily charge you to download the logo after you've spent some time making it or require you to pay for some kind of subscription in order to get logo generation capabilities. But after testing dozens of AI logo tools, I finally found one one without any of the hidden costs. And this is the exact method I use to create my friend's logo. Let me show you how it works. And my name is Kevin and on this channel, I show entrepreneurs like you the best tools you can use to make more, spend less and work less. So the tool we're gonna be using to create your logo is Microsoft's Copilot. So just go to bing.com slash images slash create. I'll link it down below as well. And the only thing you need is an absolutely free Microsoft account. So you probably already have one, MSN, Outlook, whatever it is. For whatever reason, if you don't have one, you can make one. And then once you log in, you then simply need to tell it the type of logo you want. Let's say it's create a minimalist logo for my gaming cafe business. Include the text Java game. Use a white background. This is really important as well because that's what's going to make it easy for us to remove the background and extract our logo. So you can see right off the bat it did a pretty good job but sometimes it kind of messes up on the text so you might have to run it a few times but I actually kind of like this one so all you need to do now is just click on this one and then what we're going to do is make the logo usable. So go to customize here and what this is is like Microsoft's free version of Canva. It's nowhere as good as Canva if you're familiar with that, but it works sometimes. So the first thing you can do is try and remove the background. So you hit remove background, one click, and this time around, it did an okay job. So if you're happy with that, you can just go download and go as PNG, and then boom, there you go. You have your logo. It's not the absolute cleanest uh, background removal, but it did work. Something else you could try is a free site like remove.bg. So just download the version with the background and try that and see how that does. And so you can see it did a way better job. And if you have Canva, you can do it in Canva too, or you can just Google remove background and there's like 50 sites that'll do that for you. And so just like that, we have our logo. So this logo you created should be pretty good to be used on your website or in an invoice or really anywhere online. But if you really want the best quality because you need to put it on a t-shirt or you need to print it on something really, really big, then what you need to do is make this logo from what's called a bitmap or raster to a vector. And all that really means is that the logo won't distort when it's resized, no matter how big it is. Then head over to this site right here, I'll link it down below, and this is Adobe's free converter from JPEG to vector. So just hit upload your photo and drag in your photo and if your logo is simple enough, then most times Adobe Express will do this for you completely free and then you can get your SVG and then just drag it into your browser and then you can try it out. So for example, if we zoom in like 500% like you see I've done here, then you can see that it's still not distorting. It's still perfect no matter how big I zoom, which is pretty cool. So this is what's gonna give you the highest quality. And again, it's completely free to do all of this. But if for whatever reason, this method isn't working and maybe your logo is just too complicated or it's just looking off, then you do have a few more options, but they aren't free, but they are very, very low cost. So the first option is to use this site called Vector Magic. And so all you need to do is drag in your logo and it's gonna analyze it and it's going to vectorize it in a few seconds. And so let's let it run and it's going to basically show you side by side what the old one looked like and what the new one looked like. Now I find this one does a better job with more complex stuff, but again, 
it is still using AI. So you can see here that if we zoom in, it does not distort. So you know that this is a vector graphic. And so if you do want to download it, then you actually do have to pay, but it's not too bad. It's $12.99 for the whole month. So obviously you would just get your one or two logos, or if you can generate a whole bunch, just pay the $12.99 and you can get your logos that way. If for whatever reason, Adobe Express didn't do it for you. I'll link this one down below as well. And the final option and maybe the most accurate option is to get a human designer to do it for you. So I use a site called Fiverr and basically for five bucks, I'm in Canada, so five bucks US is about 719 Canadian. You can get someone to just trace it for you. Just make sure whatever gig you pick, you look for a hundred percent manual tracing. Cause the last thing you want is one of these guys just using one of those vector programs, charging you five bucks each when they're paying $12 a month and it's selling hundreds of these, right? So it has to be a hundred percent manual. And this is what's going to be the most perfect result if you're really a stickler for quality. But I would say nine times out of 10, just use the Adobe Express method with the free logo and you're good to go. But if you are printing this on some things and you're really doing something like that, then it might be worth spending $5. But in the grand scheme of things or $12.99 if you don't want to wait for someone to do this for you. Either way, I'll link this exact gig down below if you're interested in checking it out. But at the end of the day, you have to look at it from perspective. So you could have spent hundreds of dollars to come up with a logo. So even if you pay someone five bucks in the end just to trace it for you that's still saving you hundreds of dollars from coming up with that original logo so that's how easy it is to create a professional logo to get started with your new business now of course this isn't going to be as good as if you paid a human to do this for you and you paid a few hundred dollars and they had a week to do this and they did multiple revisions obviously it's not going to be as creative or specific and finely tuned to the exact thing that you want. But I'm always a believer that when you start a new business, you don't wanna have a lot of costs up front. You wanna get out the door with as little cost as possible so you can make your first few sales and then take that money to invest back into the business. So once you start making some money, I would recommend that you redo your logo at a later date, but this is absolutely fine to get started. And I've started a lot of businesses using AI logos. But if you do use this method to create a logo, I'd love to see it. So comment down below and link your site or wherever you're using your logo and I'd love to see it and I'll definitely comment on it. And if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Now, the one thing you'll need to know is how to create good prompts in order to create the best logo possible. So if you wanna learn how to do that better for completely free, check out this master prompt video I just made, which is gonna teach you the one prompt you can use that will automatically improve any prompt you give it. I'll see you in the video.